seeing you yeah, shot. That's what I'm going to start with. Yeah, I, I, I know. What's next? Nice. Okay. We're going to shoot a video here. Thanks. Okay, the last time we see you in this series, you're sitting in the bleachers yeah. with Stan, yep. your character with Stan, yep. Noah. What What is he saying to you? What's he saying to you in real life? In real life? <laughs> well, okay, so the first take we took, he was like, so, I want you to know that after this, there will be no food for you. <laughs> and that got me pretty sad, I'm not going to lie, because I... One thing that most people don't know is that in all the eating scenes that we have, they have to take the food away from me. Mm. I couldn't, I can't stop eating it, and it's always been a problem. Even in the first season, my mom had to call and tell him to like take the bacon away from me because I wouldn't stop eating the bacon. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing he said. And then after that, um, he said, you know, he broke the news to me. Uh, each and every time in a different way and each and every time I played it a different version of sad and a different version of angry and a different feel, like a different feeling every time uh, although I can I can say for sure there was never a feeling of joy that was never that was never captured but well we wondered the whole series does Henry really know I mean we never could yeah. figure it out yeah do you think he anything I think at the end uh, he definitely started to not figure it out, but he started to realize there was something, something. weird. Yeah, something weird going on. Um, but uh, yeah. I, I, no, I don't think he ever knew. Good. What do you think happens to him after the series is over? Honestly, I think he just he keeps going to Saint Edwards. I think he starts spending time with Stan. Stan becomes, you know, father figure, and he goes on to either do sports as a job, maybe a scientist of some sort, considering his prestigious math score math scores or he becomes part of the FBI honestly I think that's that's where he went well Holly said and I hope this is a spoil anything you know her character doesn't go no I I mean I read the whole thing okay okay she said she felt like Paige in some way or another maybe maybe really or maybe in some, behind the scenes is helping to take care of Henry in some way yeah I feel like since she did get off the train and everything I think she will come back um, and definitely see Henry and make sure he's okay, but I don't think she'll ever see him near Stan. Mm. I think that she will keep her distance and find a way to contact him without Stan knowing, because Stan does know that she is, you know. Right. Um, and so I think it's I think it's important for her to come back for him, uh, and I think he really definitely needed it. And what did you learn as a child of Matthew and Carrie all these years since you started so young? So as an I, actor, what, yeah, yeah. When I first started, I, I had been sorry, in, I'm not a man. like an actor for three months, three or four months, and then I got the job. I knew nothing. I had no idea what was going on. I, I walked on the set, I was like, I'm here, hi. I had no idea really how to act. Everyone was like, oh, he's a natural, he's great, he's whatever. But, and I'm not boasting or anything, so I don't get that out. I'm not boasting, but that's that, that's the common feedback I got, and that was awesome. But I had no idea. We're both just too um, much too. And throughout the years, Carrie and Matthew made sure that I learned, and they always, they always, Whenever there was a chance for them to teach me something about acting or teach me something new, they would take it. All the time. And that was always really nice. Well, great job on the show. Thank you. Have a good night. You too.